Hey, you red-blooded constitutional-loving Americans, this is not a freaking joke. Please listen to this video. So since the new ruling came down from the ATF, we're having people come in every single day asking questions about, hey, is this now legal? Is this now legal? How do I file the Form 1s? How do I file Form 4s? Do you do e-forms? So many questions. And uh, so I did this in a little bit longer video. I'm going to try to do this in a short video today because I want to be very specific about just folding braces um, because it's a question that seems to be eluding everyone. They're focused on the braces. They're focused on the straps. They're focused on anything on their pistol that's related to the plastic piece that goes on the buffer tube. That's not all that this new rule, it's not a law, it's a rule. And by the way, there's some politicians that are jumping all over this right now. Very excited to see that happening because this is a big issue. This is probably one of the worst oversteps of the ATF, in my opinion, that I've seen ever because this was made legal in 2012 and then not so much in 2015 and changed again like 2016 or 7. It's, it's flip-flopped like five times. You cannot go back and forth on your own rulings and think that people are going to respect what you're, what you're saying. But that right there is probably the most popular one. That is a Sylvan Arms folding stock or folding goes on, a, goes on your buffer tube. There are several different versions of those from different companies. Um, that's the one that I like the most because it's the most rigid and it's it just holds up well. I put on some other ones, uh, Police Mate, something like that. It was Law Mate, something like that. It was horrible. Um, matter of fact, I still got to take it off so I can be legal. Um, but let's talk specifically about the folding brace. So the law, when it came out, um, it was 100 and something pages. And one of the things in there, it said anything that extends the length of the buffer tube beyond what is required for the normal functionality of the gun makes it illegal. Let me say it one more time. Anything that extends the buffer tube of the gun that's not required for the normal functionality of the gun makes it illegal. Um, that may not be their exact wording, but that's how, it, that's how it reads. That's how it comes out. This right here will extend the length of the buffer tube beyond the rear of the lower, where the loop is on the back of the lower that your buff tube goes in, it extends it about an inch. <clears throat> uh, some other ones are a little more lower profile. I don't like them because they're not as rigid and not as, as sturdy as those are. Some are a little bit longer. But regardless of which one you have, if there's anything that alters the length of that buffer tube that's not required by the manufacturer to make that gun fire and shoot properly, it is then considered illegal. So a lot of you guys out there, and listen, people have come in our shops and bought them. People have come in and built them. Over the last several years, those folding adapters have been wonderful because then you have a backpack gun. Then you have something that goes in a case like this. A lot of people ride horses, take their ARs out into the woods. They ride four-wheelers. They stick this on the side of their four-wheeler. They stick this on the back of their horse on the pouch. Um, it's very easy to put a folding brace on it, put it in a backpack, and by George... Go use it and got quick access to your gun. So when they talk about just the braces, okay, they're talking about 40 million braces. We keep hearing this over and over and over again. I don't think I've had anyone talk of yet about how many folding adapters there are. <laughs> Listen, this, the reason this is important is because there are so many guys out there who have these on their guns they're going to pop that brace off the back, think they're legal, and they don't even realize that their folding adapter has now made them an SBR. It's made their gun or pistol into an SBR. So please be careful. Uh, take this to heart. I'll please, for God's sakes, please share this. The last thing we want is to have our customers, your friends, your buddies, the guys you go to the range with, going out to the range, having something like that on their gun, and the next thing they know, somebody's coming up, pulling their gun, the ATF's out there watching or at a gun show, trying to sell their guns, they want something else, and they don't even realize what they have is completely illegal by the new rules. I probably feel the same way most of you do about rules versus laws with the ATF. I will post a link below to something Tulsi Gabbard put out today. Uh, I have loved watching her. She is phenomenal. Um, and she's on our side with this 100%. I don't really know how she leans politically about most things, but I can tell you when it comes to the Second Amendment, she is right on, man. She nailed it today. I got to give her her applause and thank her for her, like just 
running at it head on. But please like and subscribe, share this with your buddies. I know you know people who have those folding adapters out there. They are now gonna make your gun an SBR. You gotta figure out what to do with it. Three options, you only have three options, right? The three options are turn into the ATF, destroy it, or take it off. Now, the first two are absolutely ludicrous. If you're a moron, go do that. If you absolutely have no brain cells left, you want to do something really, really stupid, go turn into the ATF. The last one, this one, the last, this third option, right? This option right here, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, take it off. Um, take it off, take it to the range, shoot it all you want as long as you don't have it on there. Hey, please like and subscribe. We're going to hit these issues head on. They're going to continue. And we do have some good people in our corner fighting out there. Thank you for the politicians that are fighting. The rest of you, go eat a bag up, you know.